M0 FX3 Whistler TRX1 scanner. Let's import the SD card contents onto the Whistler Easy software that you can see in the background. I'll put a link in for you to download this. It, at the moment, I'm getting it from the Facebook group. So once it's opened and your scanner is turned off, okay, plug a USB cable in here and then plug it into your PC and your PC is going to detect it as, a, as an SD card, believe it or not. So all you do to see that is hit your little yellow file here. Then hit PC and you should see it there as look, TRX1. So that is our actual SD card. So ignore that for now, but you know you've got it connected. Now up here where it says SD card, you want to click copy configuration from scanner memory SD card. And remember your scanner's off. I know you can see the display in the time, but that's because it's picking up the voltage from the USB cable, but the scanner is turned off. So click copy and then go at your risk, of course, uh, agree to this. And what it's going to do, it says here, TRX1 and then E. You can scan it if you want, but that's the only one there. So just go continue. So you don't have to copy every single thing that's on the SD card into the software. But I'm going to say yes. So I'm going to click copy all here and then go copy folders. And it's just going to import everything. And it can take quite a while if you've got loads and loads. Now, the whole point of these separate folders is that you don't have to always have the same scanner, if that makes any sense. You can open up your, and when you turn on your scanner, you can select different CDAT folders. So you might have one in Australia, one in the UK, one in Africa, you know, and then it, that's going to be convenient for when you're traveling around, or you might have just one that you want for just air band or marine band, uh, PMR bands. So the idea it gives you that flexibility. And remember, this scanner receives up to 1300 megahertz, it's AM, FM, MXDN, DMR, P25. It's like a fantastic scanner. It is quite retro, but it works so well. And I've got this PC software that I was using earlier. You can fully control this using your PC. I'll link in a video where I did, where I was doing that. It's such good fun. And you could even cast it out and it will, you can pick it up on an APK on your Android phone. Anyway, we'll, we'll wait a while while this all loads up. It's gonna take a while, but at least once it's on the scanner, on this page here, then we'll be able to look through and see what you know what you've got there and what you want to change. It says file complete. Let's have a quick look at the tabs and see what we've got here. We've got all these scan lists. Wow, someone gave me this. Packed, packed with uh, different scan lists. You can actually change. See this here it makes the LED lights change color. Going over conventional frequencies. Again, colors, alert, the mode. Most of them are set to, let's have a look here. No, digital, analog, or auto. Auto is quite a sensible one to use. I don't use trunk systems, so we don't really use any of this. And that's your general settings there, like your speaker, your headphone battery if you want the backlight to be on when the battery is connected no power source and so on so that's just a very simple video there and look enable all scan lists and disable restore to factory default reset scan list there is a thing here where you can update the CPU and the DSP and all that kind of stuff I've done that with a separate program I just uh, found it better Thanks for watching. This this video is just to show you how to import from your SD card, and you know, it's providing you've got one that's been preloaded for you. Uh, thanks for watching. Seven three.